been with this circuit for about a week or so and normally it's inside this little container here but I've, I've been uh, fixing it because every now and then I have been popping these MOSFETs I've been trying to make it work well from these IRF 3205s 55 volt MOSFETs what I've noticed was I think really my problem was my, my tuning would drift because these primary tank caps would crap out so I just had to replace this one they do get pretty warm the last one um, these are 100 nanofarad each the, the last bank I had um, two of them had dropped down to 75 nanofarad that threw the tuning off um, so what I did kind of notice over time is by dropping that down very slightly I seem to get better output from the lower voltages. So I had a tuning at some point where about 12 to 15 volts or so got me a few inches. You know, it's pretty decent. And I wanted to keep that tuning. At some point trying to hook up a boost driver to this, somehow I killed it. I'm not sure what that was, but I eventually just threw some like 47 volt zeners on the trains. That was pretty much it. But what I did do was add some low ESR electrolytics so these are like audio grades they're pretty cheap but they uh, seem to work pretty good so they're 35 volt and I've got 6600 microfarad worth on there and after replacing the MMC getting the primary tuned about how where I want it it seems to give me about the longest discharges from 30 volts or so so while I know I can fine-tune this primary uh, MMC and where it's sitting to sort of get higher output at the lower voltages that was sort of the plan to get the longest breakout at the max voltage I could feed it which is about 30 volts so tried winding this for it didn't quite work out could get decent output from much larger coils however I ended up drawing the completed circuit here so this is what it looks like you can see that so basically same deal except I've just got the specs here um, so 100 nanofarad on the drains um, zeners on the gates and you can see you know I've just got like 60 uh, micro Henry chokes here These are the uh, specs of the primary and secondary. And you can see here I've just included the um, interrupter I'm using, the TL494. So these are uh, three potentiometers, which you basically want to start all the way to the left. And this one right here, you know, is going to be the startup. So you want to turn it till you get about four volts on the gates. Um, or you know just turn the on time up very slightly and then start cranking it till you get output you might need to reverse the polarity of this feedback inductor right here so that's pretty much it and I found this particular setup to work well and on the TL494 here I'm just showing which pins you're hooking up each of these leads so yeah like I say I, I played around with this a lot um, there's my feedback here you can see and I get pretty good output um, I think probably what I'll stick with is just you know the 30 volt out, output maybe um, from a boost driver but you know again the problems I had popping MOSFETs I think were due to the tuning and that's because this cap was drifting and crapping out um, so probably this needs to be replaced with something better you know these are real cheap caps um, the film caps but maybe a you know a, a big decent dedicated 33 nanofarad cap will do much better so that's probably the plan there get that I'm thinking this probably won't have problems However, adding these um, bus caps here has certainly increased the juice that's passing through this thing. So this heat sink is getting warmer quicker along with those caps. So 
can't just replace that I might need to bump this up to a slightly larger one or maybe you know put a small fan on there or something but yeah this says this was the end result so I feel like if anybody wants to try a low voltage setup like this you know like I say you can get it to work pretty damn good from only about 12 volts um, you know the only issue there is you you're uh, adjusting your gate divider voltage divider according to what your 7812 output is so you got a 12 volt reference you know, if you start feeding the whole circuit only 12 volts then the 7812 is not going to output 12 volts you're going to have to slightly adjust the startup pot here to get it to run from that lower voltage so you know for example if you have it set at 15 volts everything is running everything's good you know when you try backing this whole supply input down to 12 volts it's not going to run anymore you have to slightly turn up the gate voltage again so again it will run from 12 volts you just have to keep that in mind and depending on the tuning I think depending on my tuning at something like 12 volts I was getting something like this you know it was pretty decent it was over a couple inches um, but again with that tuning at 30 volts, I was maxing out probably just barely 6 inches or, or a little bit more where I get a little bit over probably closer to 7, maybe 8 inches max now at 30 volts with this circuit. Just the way it's set up.